Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Sweetheart Crafts. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how I made these BTS ARMY bombs that were inspired by my favorite song, Euphoria. Before getting into the rest of this video, I just wanted to reiterate the epoxy resin safety. Make sure that you are wearing nitro gloves and are working in a well ventilated room with the windows open. A garage or a porch is preferable. And also make sure that you are wearing a respiratory mask that uses vapor filters. In this clip here you guys can see I'm putting on my nitro gloves and usually nitro gloves come in this blue color and the respiratory mask that I use is by the 3M brand and it has vapor filters. The molds that I'll be using are my BTS Army Bomb molds. I do have this mold in four different sizes on my website. Um, I'll also be using the Art and Glow resin and I'll be pouring the resin and the hardener into a silicone cup, equal parts of each of them. And then I'll be mixing them together until there are no streaks and the resin is fully mixed. And then I'll set it aside for five minutes so that the bubbles can come to the top before using it and spraying alcohol on them to pop the bubbles. These are the colors that I'll be using. I'll be using some resin dye and alcohol inks and this glitter that I got on Etsy. Everything will be linked down below so that you guys can purchase anything that, um, that I have used in my videos. I always have them in the description box because I do get a lot of questions of what I'm using and it's always there. And I'm now I'm just going to pour the resin into three separate cups so that I can start pouring the um, resin dyes and the alcohol inks into them and mix them together. For the colors, I took inspo from the um, Love Yourself Answer album cover. I know that it's a holographic effect, but just when you have it in a certain lighting, you know, it shows the colors. So this is why I did the pink, blue, and the yellow color. Now I'm going to start pouring the resin into the molds. I'm just using these knives just to control the resin better so that I can get the color effect that I want, like the gradient from the yellow to the pink to the blue. And I'm also going to take a toothpick and do like a swivel effect in the mold from for the color so they can kind of mix together better so that they're not just like block colors and as well in the um, album cover you can tell like there's like a little bit of purple going on from the um, blue and the pink so I wanted to make sure that I got that effect as well with the um, sw swivel motion. I let the resin cure for 24 hours before I popped the uh, charms out of the mold and you can see that they came out super cute. I really like the effect of the colors and how transparent it is but you can still see the colors. It kind of gives like a jelly effect. Now I'm going to take white acrylic paint on a paintbrush and I'm going to paint the engravings. Then I'm going to let them dry for about 15 minutes before I start wiping them off 
with rubbing alcohol i know it's really hard to find rubbing alcohol at the moment with what's going on so i think water will work but you'd have to test it out since i've never tried it before since i always like to use the rubbing alcohol just to see if it works but um i'm sorry you guys that some of the supplies that i am using in this video and all in my in all my videos are very hard to find at the moment with what's going on and i apologize for that I repeated this process twice just because there was some areas in the logo that were a little bit patchy with the way that um, the paint went on and when I wiped it off so I just applied a second layer and then I let it sit for 15 minutes before wiping them off again with rubbing alcohol. These are the shaker fillings that I'll be using in my charms for this video. I got these pearl and gold balls from Joann's. They all came in a set. I'll have that link down below. And then on the right hand side, these smaller balls I got on Etsy. I'll link their shop below as well. And then the little um, rhinestones and stuff, I got it as a sample um, free gift in an Etsy order that I made. Now I'm going to start working on the stickers for the Euphoria portion of the charm. I did already cut these out on my Cricut machine and I do have a video on how I make my stickers for resin and I'll make sure to link it in the iCard above for you guys to check out because I do get a lot of questions on how I make these and um, so now I'm just going to transfer the stickers onto transparency film because it's just easier for me to apply them onto the transparency film that I use for keeping the shaker fillings in before doming them so that's why I just like to do it have it separate because I can't get it centered on that piece as well so that's why I have two different transparency film so now I'm going to take this Cricut marker pen and I'm going to take the transparency film again a separate one so that I can trace around the charm for the area that I will be using UV resin to um, lock in all the shaker fillings. I went ahead and cut out the transparency film and cleaned them with rubbing alcohol. It's just hard for me to cut on camera so that's why I did it separately. I've already drilled holes into the charms as well with an electric drill and because again it's harder for me to um, do this process while filming so that's why I did it off camera as well. So I'm just placing the shaker fillings back into the um, charms and I'm just making sure that everything is good and then I'm going to take UV resin and a UV light as well as toothpick 
toothpicks and I'm going to start applying the UV resin around the area that I will be applying the transparency film to. I do two layers of the um, UV resin so I do the first layer and I apply the transparency film and then I hit it with the UV light for about two minutes and then I go ahead and do a second layer to really make sure that there's everything is locked in and that there's no spillage that will happen later on if you don't do a second layer or the resin seeping through so that's why I like to do two layers of UV resin and I recommend everyone to do this and then um, after I'm done with the two layers then I'm going to apply the um, Euphor euphoria sticker transparency film I added the um, UV resin to the back of it you can just apply the UV resin to the front of the um, charm where the transparency film that you already applied is just because this is just an extra step that I realized after doing it I didn't necessarily need to paint it it's just it would have just been easier to do the other part because when you dome later on it's just going to cover it up anyways any mistakes of the way that the UV resin looks like so I'm going to repeat this process on the um, mini um, army bomb as well I'm going to put baby oil into the charm now and I'm going to use a precision tip applicator bottle like this one to put it into the hole that I made with my electric drill and just fill it all the way up. I usually don't fill it all the way up, just a little bubble that will be left just so that it's easier for the pieces to move around. And then I'm going to use UV resin and a UV light and I'm going to um, cure it and I'm going to repeat this process with the mini army bomb as well. I also have a full video showing you guys how I make my um, shaker charms from start to finish to finish so please click the i card above if you're interested in watching that tutorial after filling the charms with baby oil i'm going to get into doming the pieces so i use promarine resin for doming just because i prefer this resin for this specific task and i'm going to pour the resin and the hardener and mix it together until there's no more streaks and I can tell that the resin is fully mixed and then I'm going to let it set for about 15 minutes before I use it for the doming just because I want the resin to get a bit thicker because if I pour the resin like it is after like maybe five minutes it's a little bit too liquidy and then the resin just creates a mess and I just prefer when it's thicker it just it's easier for you to apply the dome so now I'm just going to be wiping the charms with 91% alcohol just because I want to make sure that there's no dust on it because that creates dips and everything is nice and clean and then I'm going to get into doming the pieces I do have an in-depth tutorial on how I dome my shaker pieces or my charms in general 
but what's different now is that I do two layers of doming now just because um, I want to make sure that everything is nice and locked in and solid because if so I've noticed with one layer sometimes if the pieces are dropped on very hard surfaces they will bust where the baby oil will start leaking so I like to fully secure my charms now with two layers so I'll dome them wait 24 hours before doming them again and I put this piece of plastic over over the charms just to make sure no dust gets into them or anything like that because like I said before the dust will create dips it's been 24 hours so I'm going to go ahead and dome the pieces again so it's the same process as before so I'm not really going to show everything in depth like I did in the previous clips I waited another 24 hours for the resin to cure with the dome and this is how the pieces turned out and now I'm going to start attaching the keychain portion onto the charms. So I've already drilled a hole into them only partially and I'm going to take some pliers and these eye screws. I get most of my supplies from Amazon so I'll make sure that I link them down below and I'm going to start um, twisting it into the hole and then I'm going to take the pliers to really make sure it goes all the way into the charm. Now I'm going to take UV resin as an extra measure of secure and I'm going to apply it around the eye screw area and then I'm going to take a UV light to um, cure it. I will be using these gold keychain attachments. These come in a set together. So I'm going to loop the open jump ring through the um, eye screw and then I'm going to take two um, pliers and I'm going to close it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making these two BTS army bombs. Let me know if you guys would like to see more BTS inspired charms. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video with your friends. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye now.